I am an academic advisor for the School of Behavioral Sciences, and I work mainly with the MA, MS degree program, and non-degree learners who are seeking licensure at the master's level. The degree programs are both um, very different for important reasons. The MS degree program is the non-licensure degree program. Um, the courses offered for that degree do not satisfy the licensure requirements in most, most states. Um, typically, the MS degree is either to use psychological principles within a certain area towards a more business environment, or it's a stepping stone onto the PsyD degree program. Um, the MS degree program has five areas of speci specialization um, available. You can either um, specialize in chemical dependency and compulsive disorders, or pastoral counseling, sports psychology, industrial organizational psychology, or in general psychology. Within the general psychology concentration, a learner may choose from um, most of the offerings of three unit courses within the MA, the MS, and the PsyD degree programs as long as the prerequisites have been met and with academic advisor approval. I have learners um, who have uh, gone into the concentration of sports psychology who work as minor league coaches or trainers or want to go into sports psychology at the doctoral level later on. Um, I have learners in industrial organizational psychology and, and graduates who are working as com consultants in um, the business arena with major corporations, with school districts, other um, applications of that sort, advertising. As far as um, the chemical dependency and compulsive disorders, those are typically learners who want to go beyond KDAC or NADAC certification at the basic level and become more highly certified within the chemical dependency arena. General psychology um, concentrations are typically uh, learners who are interested in going into the PsyD and um, they are more eclectic in their interests and so they want to pick and choose their electives a la carte, so to speak, so that they can just in, um, investigate areas of interest. The MS degree program also includes a thesis, which is a literature review of all of the research within a typical, um, within a um, identified subject matter for your thesis. And then the MS degree culminates in the externship. The externship is a non-clinically based application in a work environment of all of the principles and information that you've learned throughout your degree program. The direct pathway to the doctoral program is a master's degree. That's the basis for admissions to the doctorate. Um, typically, people who know that they want ultimately the PsyD degree, they will do the MS degree program because it's quicker. The 42 units of the MS degree program are accomplished in shorter time than the MA. However, that being said, I do have learners who complete the MA degree program in order to be able to practice at the master's level or work towards that licensure while they're going on to complete the doctorate. Um, as a pathway through the MA, but the shortest route is through the MS. Just remember that the MS is the non-licensure track, and so you're not able to go into clinical practice at the master's level in a licensed capacity at that point.